Hello, good morning, good afternoon. Um, my name is Natalia Andrichuk. I am CEO of the Zevon company today. Um, uh, I will tell about our experience in digital content factory and how this approach accelerates content production as well as empowering customer engagement. Let us take a very bright and very close to all of us example, Starbucks, which is not only the loveliest coffee shop around the corner, but the best example how the one can personalize the customer message and get it at scale. If we go deeper into the detail how it operates, we have to pay attention on the significant personalization activities and experience which Starbucks team achieved during the recent years. Just listen to this. What can I get for you today? Yeah, can I get a grande upside down caramel macchiato with three pumps of vanilla, one third a cup of steamed almond milk, 20% condensation, uh, two milligrams of cinnamon, four sprinkles of sea salt, and two exhales of human breath. You got it. It's a complicated order, I don't know what to do. Boom. <laughs> oh, wait. <gasps> Good to go. Look, it's not only personalized experience, it's also a fast, excellent performance and a great expectations are met. Are met. So um, this is the strongest reputation built, not just the Starbucks. There are more and more players daily in the market which want to make the customers as happy as Starbucks makes us daily. Look, each of our suppliers, each of the companies we love to buy from, they're bringing us or they are trying to bring us as much personalized and as experience as possible, where it starts and how to be there and what are the details. So let's deep dive and um, let's share our own experience. Experience of the seven is uh, in the building efficient content factory and structuring the content, modularizing the approach of building it, building modular um, approach to the content production and getting our customer to the next level, which is automation and content auto generation. Look how many successful cases on the pharma market today, we can all read about success stories from Novo Nordisk, from Moderna, from the others. All, all, all of them are pursuing modularization, content, digital content factory as acceleration process to deliver the best customer's experience and the most personalized messages. It's very good, but uh, what I can say from the field, how we can build it at scale and what are the successful uh, recipes for that. Mm, today, I would like to stop on two of them, go modular and accelerate with the DCF, because obviously uh, even, even you have your content not in the playing piece but defragmented you still need to build the successful content production chain so to accelerate the uh, process and the, uh, have people and flow and everything in place so what are the key uh, value drivers of the dcf where exactly dcf accelerates content production first of all you have to pay attention on how you can make a request management faster, better, create this streamlined process between the requester and the business liaison manager or the multi-channel, omni-channel campaign manager who re uh, receives those requests. What is the technical foundation for this? Then, of course, you need to see how you will work with all the agencies, all the vendors who are already in the production, because it is the one of the important factor, multi-vendor environment, especially in global to local model, where you can bring 
all the vendors to one standard of content production, even giving them one single offering solution for the final tactics uh, in, in the modular approach in the content creation. And that's uh, all in the uh, total will allow you to focus on the content experience, create the content agnostic formats, and mastering your data to deliver personalization. Important to understand several things and to work on that. First of all, centralize your content storage. Your content has to be stored in the central place from where you can implement the successful strategy of content tagging. You need to run audit of your content constantly. Um, this, hel this is helpful because usually while you are auditing, you are finding the mistakes why the content is not searchable on the local level, as an example. Um, you can improve the searching algorithm. You can build even artificial intelligence algorithm and place it as a part of your auto generation engine in the future mm, the next thing which is easy and the first to automate is content dissemination so to make sure like to publish the content into the any channel you don't need the bigger effort than just pushing the button if you have all of these, you can centralize and focus on your storytelling excellence, increasing personalization, reusing your captured data, making sure you nurture your campaigns and you are building the knowledge, maximize artificial intelligent impact so the decisions, even the important one in the future, are made faster and with less sacrifice. Uh, we're talking a lot about modular. So what is modular in essence? What are the main principles and components of the modular? Let us uh, see your content, uh, either it is an editor or a web page or the email, as a whole composite piece. Of course, it is the messages which has its own structure where we can really and we need to work on taxonomy and uh, make it related to all the brand strategies and connect it to the correct channels. The fragments, the smallest components which we need to reuse from module to module to make sure we have them agnostically stored in the library and tagged appropriately so then uh, the searching algorithm is suggesting you that you creating a module, you can use this exact fragment. We can really have already uh, understanding how approvable the composite piece will be. The template, the master template, which is brand specific, which could be even country specific, um, uh, cannot be uh, really ignored because it keeps uh, structure uh, uh, quick and easy to assemble and fragments can be injected into correct place of the certain template. Then the composite piece as a module has all of it in detail um, included. So this is a little bit about uh, what, what module is and how to identify a piece of the information as the module. Going further and introducing the approach of digital content factory in more detail, I will uh, make stress on the most important figures uh, or roles in the factory. So to say, the, uh, building the DCF, you have to be ready that there is the involvement, not only from the vendor side, but from your side as well, because there has to be the a champion in the country, the owner in the global team of this initiative or couple of owners, maybe you will have IT and content separately, or you will be having multi-channel and pure DCF as a content production. Then from the vendor side, there has to be network of business liaison managers. Liaison managers can actually have two hats. They can be 
sometimes they can, they can have a role only as a liaison managers, especially in the beginning, to liaise between the business stakeholders from your side and the factory itself, the production house, the channels where the content produced. And the other hat is multi-channel or omni-channel operations manager who help you to suggest uh, what type of content already exists, how to reuse better, what, what has to be repurposed, what is appropriate for one channel, so on and so on. So these, this is the, these are two main roles in the factory which are helping to bring the organization throughout every step of the process, starting from handling communication, classifying, triaging the request, organizing and reopening the request, producing the content, implementation, very detailed and very solid QA schema, and up to the MLR approval. I was talking a lot about different fragments and keys and value drivers of the DCF implementation. If we take it in one piece and look at this as a transformation journey for the organization from the connected structured and connected content to the modular and then to the automated, we can have it as an evolution um, or having in mind how your organization is ready, what are your goals, what do you want to achieve today, what do you want to achieve by the end of the year, what do you want to achieve uh, in the next two years, you will have a vision and the goals and, and you need to understand that there is also the commitment. So you need to be ready uh, with the understanding how many people, processes and tools you, you can commit to this transformation. And if you're sure you can start on the, already from the level two, but going back to the level one, so uh, what does it involve? First of all, it is the integration of, and for the technical foundation, we need to integrate the platform and creating your technical stack, which can build from CRM, CLM, digital asset management, approval system, marketing automation system, um, uh, auto translation system, any other automation you want to bring as a part of your technical foundation. In the same time, you need to invest in building the content pack, which for each brand, which is um, uh, which is connected to the channels with uh, those you are making your uh, marketing automation today, and. Um, also giving uh, you the flexibility in the future to break down your composite piece of the digital asset to the modules. Uh, then centralizing asset management and bringing right taxonomy and tagging structure gives you the crystal clear definition of process of effort of tools for the next stage. And then using this transparency, you will not only reduce the cost, you will also have the next step crystal clear because your foundation is established and proven. The next step is modular content. Modular content outcomes is clear. This is higher reuse of materials, avoiding duplication of the efforts, streamlining MLR processes and faster market adoption. Having this mastered, it is time to go to the third, the most advanced stage of the DCF, which is automation, which is automated content. It helps using all the data to understand deeper the customer, to personalize the engagement, to use this as a competitive advantage, to learn from this and as a future to auto-generate test and to auto-produce the content. Our offering today um, consists and not limited to people, process and platform, building the technical foundation 
having the offering solution as our connector and in-house tool for you, bringing you at the level of data ownership, which creates your own data lakes, helping to master not just the channel or the segment, but particular customer with their personalized needs. Thank you very much for listening. I will welcome any questions you have. Here was me, Natalia Andrichuk, with Evan. Thank you very much.